Come on, praise. Come on, lift those hands and say, Father, let the same anointing, the same glory that is on us now manifest in our house over our family, over our children, over our ministry, over our finances, over our health, over our calling and our assignment that the glory of God will continue to increase from glory to glory in the name of Jesus hallelujah 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 cover every household member here Lord every community member every God let the church be the church not according to the world's standard <laughs> but according to the living Christ who lives and dwells in us reveal your glory Lord unveil your glory in our lives like never before hallelujah show up in an awesome way that put demons and devil my God to become as dust under our feet that they will become as the chaff that the wind drives away that as we show up the atmosphere will be conditioned to our praise and to the anointing in our lives in the name of jesus we break every yoke hallelujah every burden and every care falls weights and burdens we break them now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Every feeling of hopelessness, helplessness, fatherlessness. My God, unveil your glory. Right now, Father, and rebuke every fear and doubt. Rebuke uh, every unbelief, every wavering spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For you have not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love and of power and of sound mind, a spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba Father. For that spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are indeed children of God. And if children of God, then ears of God and joined ears with Christ thank you Lord you release and unveil in your glory in us now that every force of darkness flee before our presence let this light increase ah, the glory increase hallelujah hallelujah and everywhere we go we will take it with us and those around us will know truly they have been with the Lord hallelujah somebody give him a praise give him a praise one more time give him a praise one more time Praise God. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you. Thank you. 
Hallelujah. I have been praying about some things regarding the church, and it's not just this church, but every church that is called by the name of Christ, and that is of Christ, that we will see a greater demonstration and greater manifestation of the Spirit of God in our lives. I believe the devil is increasing and intensifying his demonic schemes and attacks and that we cannot be on yesterday's page to face today. We have to be abreast and up to date with what God is saying, not just with what he said, but with God, what God is saying. God, there's more he's unveiling. Eh? Hallelujah. So we encourage you. We encourage you to push and to dig deeper in the word, in the spirit, and in your knowledge of the Lord. Because if you are slothful concerning these things, the enemy will gain an advantage against you. And we are saying that this can be avoided. And I'm training God's people not to keep giving the devil opportunities and hoping to scrape through victorious. Because I know they will not always get that opportunity to recover if they keep doing that. Are you hearing me? So there's a need for steadfastness. Not wavering. Not inconsistency. Not sometimes service. Not half-hearted service mediocre service are only what is tended are meant to be just enough to survive but you've got to press are you hearing me you've got to press and i hear the lord chanting that song press along saints press along i i, I was praying last night for the church and I do so every night, but each night I ask the Lord what to pray about. So I don't come with the same prayer. And I don't come being repetitive. What does that call it? Repetitive? And um, in bringing the same cause before him every time, like a broken record. But I believe each time when you come to God and pray in, and listening to him as you pray to him he will give you hints what else to pray about and it will start to change the dynamics of your prayer and it will start to change the effect of your prayer and also adjust the fruitfulness of the results come on now and i'm saying that the church is too much at ease the church is too much at ease. The church should be way further than where it is now. But many people have developed an habit of waiting until things get difficult. Then they show that extra interest. And this is not going to keep on passing with God. God will cover for that for a while. But he will not entertain that to be a habit with you. Because he doesn't intend for that to be part of your character. Because that is not a part of the character of Christ. Hello. So I'm telling you there must be zero tolerance for, for complacency. Hello. There must be a burning desire in you 
for more of God to dig deeper to break the boundaries and the restrictions that you had before and access a new level huh? a new wave of anointing hallelujah and I'm telling you the church haven't started scratching that level yet and I'm saying that we can get there but we cannot be passive about it this will take a level of concentration assertion and consistency consistent faith you hearing me because we are at the edge of a massive breakthrough for this church and it is not just for this church but for the church at large we are at the verge of a major breakthrough and when i say major breakthrough you will tell if you persist if you push on god will unveil it to you you will be a part of it but if you are lax and laid back you will only notice that it happened after it has already has already passed you and we are saying you don't have to be in that group that that say like 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 jacob the lord was here and i did not know it <laughs> come on the lord was here and i did not know it come on you need to know it because that was how israel fell and lost all they had because the lord says they did not discern the time of their visitation there's a point where god comes with a stronger wave of anointing he's present but there are different dimensions in him are you hearing me there are different levels in grace there are different levels in faith there are different levels in the anointing. Are you hearing me? And it is the, the level you reach is dependent on your hunger. The level of your hunger determines the level of what you access. Are you hearing me? And some person have lost their hunger. They have lost their appetite. They are barely hanging on. And milk can supplement. And I'm telling you that will not keep you in this war. And we can't always be there to fight for you. You've got to develop and learn from the things we are sowing to you. That you can also fight for yourself hallelujah otherwise you'll become a casualty in the war hallelujah so we are telling you press oh you don't hear me here i have an acronym for the word pressed that i taught to the church years ago it's persistently resisting every satanic scheme persistently resisting every satanic scheme give no room to the devil shun every appearance of evil even the very thought of it must not be entertained hello somebody and i'm telling you the more you become slack on these instructions the more casualties are going to show up in here and i'm hoping that it won't but that depends on your response 
You see, the teacher gives the instruction. But the student must carry out the instruction to get the result. Come on. The teacher cannot give you the instruction and also do it for you. You will not learn. You must learn to practically apply and faithfully apply what you have been taught. Hallelujah. So you don't have to keep going back to recall what was said but that it will be up front huh? readily in your mind because you have kept that registry of that word active and not dormant hello somebody and if you keep it dormant in the time you are going to say what is it again and what was that I can't remember? The enemy is going to kick you over. And some may not survive the kick over. Some souls may still be saved. But may be leaving here premature. Because they have not properly applied what they have been taught. They have been slack concerning it. And giving room to the devil. And they have come back from it. In every room they give. But there is a certain point. They will not come back. Because if they keep being slack on that. Grace will not keep covering. For slackness. I'm talking to you. Hallelujah. So you must really get into gear and press. Tell your neighbor, say press. You know what press means? Yes, man. But the word press means to exert pressure. To exert force against. Come on. So he says, you cannot then just say, I persistently resist, but you are laid back. Hmm? You cannot just be reactive. You've got to be proactive. So you cannot just be responding to what the devil is doing against you. You must now take the initiative to do some things against him. That shut him down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you cannot just be defending. When he's striking. You must strike back. I don't hear anyone in here. But if you don't know. How to utilize the word. Your strike will not be effective. Because you have been given too much time between strike for the enemy to recoup and to come back at you. So at a certain point you have to make the Lord train you to strike bullseye. You understand bullseye. In other words the strike must be fatal. Lethal. That he will, you will not have to keep measuring over and over repetitive strike that do hurt but are not dangerously lethal to him he will keep coming with those kind of strike but when you strike for the heart come on now he has to go into retreat and the lord knows how to strike the enemy bullseye Hallelujah. So he said he was tempted and three times the devil tempted him. But when he answered the third time, the word of God says, and the devil left him for a season. Come on. And angels came and ministered unto him. Huh? So it means that the devil wasn't persistently on him and on him and on him and on him. 
No, you need to ask the Lord to teach you to wield the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, and strike bullseye. And you can't strike bullseye if you're praying or talking out of the flesh. Your spirit and God's spirit has to become one. That when you speak, it's not you alone speak. It is God who speak. That when you move, it's not you alone move. It's God move. And something in the atmosphere will shift because the enemy knows it's not you alone. The enemy don't afraid of you alone. But there's a with God effect that the enemy is afraid of. I don't hear anybody here, but I want you to know this is serious business. Hallelujah. This is what? Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, you are so close to a breakthrough that will have your enemies flabbergasted. My God. And then say, what is that? Apostle just say, flapper what? Hallelujah. My God is to leave them in shock. With their jaws dropped wide open. Don't know what to say. Head turning, head spinning. And say, what was that? Hello, somebody. And all you can say, that was God. Hello, somebody. Now, this ain't something you're used to. This ain't something you experienced before. This is something far greater. And a greater level of demonstration of God's power demands a greater level of faith and commitment. Do you hear me, church of God? And we are not waiting to see what the years going to play out for the church. We need to put our foot ahead. You get what I'm... We got to step out now. We, this is crunch time. You know when they say crunch time. Hallelujah. It means we don't have any time to linger and to waste. Every step and move count come on now. any linger and delay in movement can prove fatal hallelujah you know when they say you're on red alert hallelujah you must understand in the spiritual realm when we say you're on red alert come on that means you're facing extreme danger and every move is critical to overcome it. Every move. And I've been worrying for you. More than you know. Hallelujah. But you cannot sit by and just eat the spoils and say you're all right. You got to press. Hallelujah. You got to push with me. Because anyone pulling against me not going to survive this round, you know. I'm telling you. Know that you are one before it come. So that's what I'm telling you. You got to decide in your heart. This is no foot in, foot out. With him, no sure now. You need to be sure. Hello. I say you need to be sure. Which side you're on. Because if you're playing double agent, you're going to get cut off. You hear what I say? 
Right? So you need to be sure who you're standing with. Glory to God. And who you're following. Who is influencing your actions and speech. Come on. You understand that one? Make sure. Okay. Because this ain't no idle time. Hallelujah. I've seen the enemy coming. I've seen him. Hallelujah. I've seen him coming. And I've been warring with him. Warring over you. And warring over your soul. More than you are aware of. But don't play with this thing. Did you hear me? Your soul is very precious. And very valuable to God more than you know. You must make sure your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. I don't care who is agreeing and who is disagreeing. Who is saying yeah and who is saying nay. Who is coming with you and who is not. You got to make sure you know your position. That when others switch, you remain consistent. Because those who switch is going to become prey for the enemy teeth. And you don't want to be prayed to the enemy's teeth. Be steadfast. Immovable. And always what? Abounding in the work of the Lord. It's not in your work. In the work of the Lord. You hear that one? Always abounding in it. Glory to God. Huh? Hallelujah. Knowing that your labor is not in vain. Come on. And Paul says, be not weary in well doing. There's a tendency when people are doing well to slack off because they feel that's good enough. And the enemy is depending on that slack off. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, don't do it. Come on. So he says, let us not grow weary while doing good. For in due season, there is a due season, huh? we shall reap what is the condition. If we do not lose heart, it means to faint, to fall back. Huh? To give in. Come on. To become passive and non-responsive. There's a tendency when people have put in pressure. To want to just kick back and soar. Or the devil is looking for something. Let it not be you. Come on somebody. But be steadfast in the word. Steadfast in Christ. Keep your mind on what pleases the spirit. And don't be controlled or influenced by the flesh. Ah, praise God. And I tell you, if you are steadfast in this thing, you are going to see the victory like never before. Unlike anything you have ever seen before. This is not something you could ever plan. Or think of. Or put together. This is a God move. And you got to make sure you're in it. 
Hallelujah. God not queasing anybody in it that don't truly want to be in it. But you must make sure. Hello. As, as what Peter said. Make every diligent. Be more diligent to ensure your position is secure. Huh? Hallelujah. And he said if you do those things you will never, never stumble. Hallelujah. You will what? Never stumble and so you will secure yourself. Huh? Praise God. An entrance will be supplied to you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Huh? Come on, somebody. So I'm telling you, we got a lot more to accomplish. What did I say? So if you're gone, we are ready and you reach there. So we're going to reach there. Come on. Got it? So press. Tell your neighbor. Say press. Say neighbor. You hear what that pastor say? Press. Hallelujah. Praise God. Those who hear me will live. I said, those who hear me will live. Praise God. Because the words I speak are not mine. And I'm not asking if it's mine. I'm telling you, say it's not mine. Huh? And any spirit make you doubt it is not the Holy Spirit. It's the devil. So you must, that's why I say, you must know your position. Make sure your anchor grips. Uh, hello? The solid rock. Christ. For it's Christ that preached to you. Hello, somebody. And those who hear me do well to hear me. Those who don't hear, they're setting up their bed. And they say, when you make your bed, you have to lie down in it. Hello, somebody. So make your election sure. Yeah. Yes, man. Make sure you know whose side you're leaning on, who's covering you under, who mentoring you. Because if you don't know, you're setting up yourself. Hello, somebody. And the devil is looking for that. Hallelujah. But we are not here to give him no free lunch. Hand over no victims to him. So you need to press. Persistently. Resist. Every. Satanic. Scheme. Hallelujah. Somebody give him the glory. Hallelujah. 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 Now those who have been taken to heart. The teachings that have been given here. Get ready. <laughs> those who have been taken to heart. The teachings that have been given here. Get ready. Because I'm telling you, you are going to see some breakthroughs that are uncommon, to say the least. Uncommon. Others will get breakthrough, you know. Now, this uncommon breakthrough is for those who hear in me. And you can talk to God about that, but can give you some private session later. <laughs> But I know what I'm telling you. And I'm not talking to what I'm about. I'm telling you. Those who hear will see extraordinary and common miracles. 
Hallelujah. And the others can sit down and watch it. Hallelujah. Praise God. What you would do wise to take heed. Huh? You would do wise to take heed. Man. Praise God. Those who hear me live. Hallelujah. Praise God. I said those who hear me live. Praise God. And God announced it. And I declare it. Praise God. And those who hear and mix it with faith will see the results. Lift your hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is God. He cannot lie. Hallelujah. Anyone who hears him hears me. Praise God. For he sent me. And I'm here as an ambassador. To declare him to you. And those who believe do well to do so. Those who walk in unbelief. Set themselves up as vessels for Satan. But I tell you. Be wise. Hallelujah. Know what the will of the Lord is. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Know what? Our oh, praise God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I raise up a standard against all opposition, all resistance. Hallelujah. Every divisive plans of Satan. I shipwreck, uproot, pluck up, scatter, and plunder, crush with the power of the Holy Spirit. And declare your glory. I 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 clear your glory, Rosheba Abasetu, will close those who hear and believe and understand that they will see the divine overflow. For you said the mysteries of the kingdom is given to those who are discipled by you. Praise God, and they will have more even unto abundance. And we give you the praise for that. We claim it right now, Father. Tebo Shama Sata. We overthrow every opposition. Ebo Shamasa, we shut down every lying tongue. Hemo Shamasa. We shut down every deceptive schemes. We run off every scare and doubting crew. And render them powerless now. In the name of Jesus, we raise up a standard. Your righteousness, your holiness, your truth, your faithfulness. Hallelujah. Let it manifest more and more and more and more in this house and amongst your people. So you walk by faith and not by sight. We claim the victory and give you the glory, Father. In Jesus' name. Come on, somebody praise him in here. You got the praise, give it to him right now. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Give him another praise in here. He must Thank you, Lord. You believe it is done. The glory of the Lord is upon you. Do not doubt it. I said, do not doubt it. I said, the glory of the Lord is upon you. Do not defile it by sin. Walk upright, circumspectly. Wear it as a robe of righteousness. And the powers of darkness will flee before you. And God will be glorified in you. 
Haroshe besata. Come on, come on, come on. The glory of the Lord. Habo shama seto. The glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord. Mimo shamasa. Habas kuhoshende. The glory of the Lord. Himo shama seto. Himo shanda. For it is Christ in us. The hope of glory. We behold him as in a glass. Behold in his glory in the face of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We are conformed to his image. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, lift those hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. And said, Lord, I receive the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Jesus said it. Jesus said, the glory that you have given to me, Father. I have given it to them. Hallelujah. I have what? Uh, some don't even know that God wants them to share in that. That we in Christ are called the glorious ones. He is the glorious one. But in him we are the glorious ones. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus said it that they all may be one as you father. Are in me and I in you. That they also may be one in us. The us there is the father and the son. That the world may believe that you sent me. And the glory which you gave me. I have given them. I have given them that they may be one just as we. In other words, we can't be one as they are one without the glory. Hallelujah. There is no light without glory. And the Lord says you are the light of the world. Says, Let your light shine before men. He's speaking of the glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So walk and let it shine. Come on. Don't keep it on dim and low. Let it burn bright. For all the world to see. What you say? Give the Lord the praise one more time. Praise God. For it is time to release you. He have prayed and declared over you. Oh yes, well the Lord says. I should pray for your healing. Yes. Lift your hands in the house. Praise God. Hallelujah. So Lord, I pray that healing virtue will be released now. Healing in the digestive system. Healing in the reproductive system. Healing in the circulation system. Healing in the respiratory system. Healing in the musculoskeletal system. Healing in the nervous system. Healing, hallelujah, in the excretion system. Healing, Rosha Masa. Hallelujah, in the neurological system. Healing, in the name of Jesus. I release healing to you. Healing in the name of Jesus. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive Roshi Masa. Imo Shabasetu. Receive it now. Kito Rosha Bakatarabasetu. Nemo Shamasaya. Ebosha be healed. In the name of Jesus. Rababa Kabo Sharabase too. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Healing is the children's bread. 
Hallelujah. And David said, Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits. Who oh, forgive all your sins, who oh, heal all your sicknesses and diseases. All of them. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come on. Tell him thanks. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We both shall us. Thank you, my Father. You're awesome. You're great. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise your name. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Thank you, Father. All right, time to release you now. Give you a chance to sow as the Lord has laid on your heart. And the ushers will give you envelopes accordingly. Put up your hands. They will distribute to you accordingly. Praise God. And we'll give you a final word to those who are watching online while you're going ahead and doing that. Praise God. Those who are watching online, you're watching Increase in Faith, Deliverance Ministry International. We are 3 East Street, Montego Bay, Jamaica. I'm Apostle Richard Fagan declaring the gospel of Christ and his kingdom. We just had a word to encourage the saints tonight. And if you are a part of the saints, you share the riches of the inheritance of the saints, then it promises also to you that you are at the verge of a mighty breakthrough. Don't give up. Don't grow weary. Don't pack in the throw in the towel. Hallelujah. I'll be on the move to run away and hide. But stand and see the salvation of the Lord. Praise God. Because God has great things planned for you. And he wants you to bear witness of it and share in the benefits of it. Hallelujah. But this requires for you to be steadfast in faith. Hallelujah. He said, if you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed. And you know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. I know the son sets free. Is free indeed. So we want you to come into that freedom. The liberty of the sons of God. Praise God. And we encourage you to know it. So there's a lot of truths in that hidden in the scriptures. And in the word declared as the gospel of the kingdom. Those who want to know about it. We have a book out there. Called the gospel of the kingdom. Tagged the gospel that Jesus preached. You can order it online. If you're not had your copy already. You need to have one as a believer. It is for all the saints. I believe every saint should have a copy. And have one to build their faith. The foundation of your faith is very vital. To you manifesting and utilizing faith. In an effective way. And if you have a faulty foundation. In your knowledge of faith. Then it also produces. Faulty results. We want you to know. The truth. That's what he said. He didn't just say believe the truth. He said you shall know the truth. It's the knowledge of the truth. That sets you free. And it says free from sin. Free from the, 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 the rulership of Satan. And influence of Satan in your life. And free from the rulership of the flesh, the sinful desires of the flesh in your life. And so we wanted to really walk in true freedom as true children of God. And not as slaves. Praise God. So we encourage you, get into the word. Get a copy of the book. You can order it online at Amazon.com. Type in Richard V. Fagan and you'll see the book pop up and you can order it. Or download it through Kindle. You also have copies here at the church. If you're in our vicinity, you can come and order it from us. We'll also have copies during our service coming up. We have a crusade coming up from the 18th of June, the 18th of December to the 1st of January. Praise God. And so we'll be encouraging you to connect with us when we stream in those services to get into the word. And Billy and Most Holy Faith, wherever you are around the world, we'll be live streaming. So you'll be able to connect with us while we're having the services. And also see them on YouTube when we 
upload them to YouTube. You'll also get to see them with the added scripture that we put there for your personal studies. Amen. Praise God. And you can also see more of the teachings here by watching our live stream. Send a friend's request to Richard Fagan on Facebook. Be plugged into our live stream services. And we have more live stream services during the days, different from the night services of our crusade. And so we encourage you to plug into that so you can get more access to the teachings here. Praise God. And you can also look for it on YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Richard Fagan, and see more of the teachings there also. Or check us out on our website. It's increasingfaithintl.org. That's increasingfaithintl.org. You can write your praise report, how this ministry is blessing you in the comment box. Or you can also write your prayer requests. We join our faith with yours to see better results. Together we believe, together we can accomplish more than we can apart. So you write your praise report or prayer request in the comment box. And also you can sow to the ministry. Those who have been reaping from the ministry, it is good for you to sow to the ministry. And we encourage persons to do so. And it is it is written. As Paul declared, he said, if we sow to you spiritual things should we reap of your carnal things. And so it is so written and commanded by Christ that we declare that when we teach the gospel of the kingdom. Praise God. And so we declare that to you, that you should do so. Amen. And so you can sow through the website. Information and options are there at the front page at the bottom. Any other questions, you can call me Richard Fagan at 876-839-9390 or 876-557-2427. Looking forward to hear from you and to build your most holy faith in the Lord. Until next time, be strong in the Lord. The power of his might. You're blessed tonight. Praise God. It's a blessing to share the word with you and to minister to you the word and song and in worship and in power and in praise. Amen. So keep meditating on the word, meditating on the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will give you greater clarity and greater deposit within your spirit of what he was saying to you tonight through these songs, through these words, through these exhortations. That you will build on your most holy faith and have your fruit and fruit that remains. Praise God. You're blessed tonight. Praise God. Time to release you. Lift those hands to the Lord. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. God bless you really good. Have a great night in the Lord. God bless you all.